If you're using a relatively newer Windows version, Windows security is all the antivirus protection you need. But it's not perfect and incompatible drivers can cause problems. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about how we can fix incompatible driver issues for memory integrity in Windows 11. So the first thing that you're going to do is actually restart your PC. Uh, I don't think I need to tell you how to do it, but in case you need to know, just click on the start menu. Uh, oh, not that. Click on the start menu. Click on this power icon and then click restart. Uh, sometimes drivers get installed and then require a restart and we don't do it necessarily. So they get marked as incompatible. Just restart your PC and give it a shot again. Once you're done with that, now it's time to check which drivers are causing problems and update or reinstall them. To do this, press Windows key plus X to open up the quick access menu and in here we are going to click on device manager. We'll give device manager a second to load. Now what you have to do is uh, first quickly scan for hardware changes using this button just to make sure all of your uh, devices show up and just go one by one in all of these sections to find any driver that has a yellow warning sign next to it which indicates that the camera is actually not functioning as it should so as you can see we've got a bunch of drivers to go through bunch of devices mice keyboard monitors network adapters neural processors other devices bluetooth and stuff got my camera printers processors so these are essentially just cores and other processors of yours so you will uh, usually find uh, something wrong with either the processor bit or security devices something uh, in the software component but essentially once you find the problem uh, which you're not going to find in this system because uh, memory integrity works here but let me see if i can find an incompatible driver to show you what to do all right so uh, once you've found the incompatible driver let's say the system firmware is incompatible what you're going to do is right click the driver with the problem and go ahead and click on update driver after this, you can just click search automatically for drivers. So Windows will automatically search and install the best and latest updated driver for uh, that particular device on your particular system. Now, if updating the driver does not work, you can also right click it and go ahead and uninstall the device completely. Uh, this might cause instability issues on your PC, depending on which particular device you're uninstalling. So just make sure that you've saved all of your work and you're ready for a reboot because whatever device you uninstall, once you reboot your computer, Windows will automatically install the latest safe driver it has for that particular device. And then you should be able to enable memory integrity in Windows security. Moving on, uh, the next solution is to check for a Windows update. Uh, press Windows key plus I on your keyboard to open up Windows settings. And we're just going to go on this last section here that says Windows update. Uh, now, as you can see, I already have the latest updates installed, but you can just click this button to check for any updates if they're pending and uh, Windows should show them up right here. Once they are, go ahead and install those updates, restart your PC and just try again. Uh, a lot of the times these issues can be fixed. Uh, Windows updates a lot of the times fix issues in Windows security in the different drivers that your Windows operating system uses. So it's always nice to make sure that your Windows system is up to date. If that doesn't work either, we are going to reset our Windows PC. Now, this is once again done through Windows settings. So press Windows key plus I. This time we are going to system and scrolling all the way down to recovery, this section. Now, here you have a bunch of options, but what I am going to do is uh, you can either try running a troubleshooter, but I don't think there are any troubleshooters that will help you fix this so we've got audio network internet windows update background intelligence transfer media player privacy resources so yeah nothing uh, special here but 
If I come back to recovery, you will see that there are two recovery options, reset this PC and advanced uh, startup. We're going to blow past advanced startup for this one. Uh, we're just going to reset our PC. So go ahead and click this button. And uh, what this does, what this really bright red box does is that it allows you to choose whether you want to keep your files or uh, remove everything and then reinstall windows from scratch. So this is the best way of fixing problems with your system. If something's not working, a driver is broken, nada nada nada, you can just reinstall windows and have everything set back to scratch. You can keep your files for this one, so it's not going to be a problem here, but uh, you can just select keep my files and then proceed with the uh, reset. Even if resetting your system did not uh, enable core isolation or memory integrity in Windows security, uh, as a last resort, you can go ahead and automatically enable it in Windows, manually enable it in Windows registry. So this is how we're going to do it. Press Windows key plus R to bring up the run prompt, show you, and then uh, type regedit and click OK. Windows will ask for some permissions. We're going to give it that and in here you have to arrive at a particular path which i will put in the description below but let me just copy paste this here back and here we are so what this does is if you take a good look at this path which is the more important part here so current control set scenarios hypervisor enforce code integrity we need this key so if you don't see this here or if your path ends at scenarios what you can do is click on scenarios right click click on new key and then uh, type in hypervisor enforce code uh, integrity so essentially create that folder and uh, once you've created this folder come in here and create the enabled D word. Now, how do you do that? Just right click in the empty space, click on new, then go to D word 32 bit value. Um, type in whatever name. So I'm just going to leave it default so that it doesn't clash with the one that I already have. And once you've named it, double click it, make sure that the base is set to hexadecimal and turn the value on to one. If you already have this key, uh, this enabled key, make sure that its value is set to one as well. Just delete it once again, just to make sure no problems are caused. And then you'll see enabled boot ID and was enabled by stuff here as well, but that doesn't really matter. We're only interested in the enabled key. Once you're done with this, you should be able to enable memory integrity in Windows security again and fix the problem. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.